Hello boys and girls Decided to do another repair video. I got this 2012 Nissan Rogue Nissan Rogue And let me show you what I'm doing. So this is what I got going on over here. What happens? This is the second time the handle it simply feels like it's locked like the door is locked and it's just you know there's nothing going on and you know even even if you unlock the door it doesn't open the door at all and it's kind of loose the handle is nothing's broken uh, but the handle is a tiny bit loose inside the door on the outside anyways so i took it apart taking it apart is fairly easy i will, I will explain what to do to take it apart so once you get this handle out, this is kind of difficult to, to get it out. What I've noticed, this little ball was out. Let me show you. Simply pop this out. This was slightly bent. I bent it back. And it was basically like this, more or less. Like that. So what happens, the handle goes right in here. And it simply pulls. When you pull the handle, this is what happens. And you can see the ball is not in there, so it's not catching it. It's not, it's not pulling the cable. So that's the, that, this is what it, what's going on right now. This is actually the second time I'm doing this. It lasted for maybe a few months, three months or so, four months maybe. I can't really remember. So there's a problem. I mean, what, what am I supposed to replace? You know, it's, it seems like it's a factory fault this also should be a recall but uh, all you got to do is take this cable out pop it in there put it put it back in and that's it now it's working right because it's catching the cable but i don't want it to uh pop out again so what i'm thinking i'm gonna do just to prevent it i started cutting this out what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut this out make it here let me, let's just do it So the plan basically is, I have lost my plan, where the hell is it? Here, found it. Got this old clip. Now what I'm thinking, to keep it from popping out, just block it somehow, right? At first I was thinking, drill a tiny hole here and uh, drive a screw or a small bolt so it sticks out right inside. But then I thought, okay, why make it so difficult if I can just do this. So I think I actually got a better one. It's a bit thicker. So something like this, basically. Okay, so pop it in. No, it's not gonna work. This one's too long. This might not be enough. Okay, a little update. This is what I did. The clip didn't work because it was sticking out too much. And it was rubbing on the inside of this area. As you can see, the shape of this is, this is the same shape of that. So these two got to be flush with each other. Okay, I'm going to do my best to show you how to put it back in. Okay. Bending the ball, the, the wire, the cable back should also help. This is sticking out a little bit, but I'm going to try it anyways. Looks like it's okay. It's not rubbing on the screw, so there must be some space between the two. Now this guy, this is the lock that goes through from the outside, inside. And this part needs to go into that yellow clip that you probably see there. I don't know. Yeah, you, you do. Okay. Before I pop that in, I'm going to try the handle. 
Okay, so the handle goes in first. Okay, the handle is in. It actually feels good. It feels like it's gonna work. It's pulling on the cable is what is what I mean. Now back to the lock. That's actually much easier now. This is really in the way. But this is also the most difficult part to install. So I'm not about to take it apart anymore. So now it's just a matter of popping in that yellow clip there. I know you can't see it, but there's not no other way. First, you pop it into the hole, into the handle, like so. Okay, and then you simply twist it towards the rod and push it in, so it should look like that. And that's actually attached to the latch. Now all you gotta do is take care of this Torx uh, bolt. That's a uh, T30. So now, as of now, the handle is actually officially in. It's only held by one bolt, but it's still loose for some reason. Let's see what's on the other side. See, this one is not loose. Okay. Is there some kind of padding on the inside here? It looks like there is. Okay, so this is this was missing. I actually did not encounter the uh, the padding or the plastic and the first time I took it apart months ago. So that's why this is loose. So what do I do at this point? So because this is missing, this was taken out before me I just realized this is quite a bit but I don't think that's causing the uh, the ball to pop out because it was taken out you know the ball had to pop out while though that padding was still in there so I doubt that, that that's actually causing for that ball to pop out so what can I do over here just maybe shove something between the door, the inside of the door and the plastic there that's probably what I'm going to end up doing okay cardboard there, cardboard, cardboard on the bottom there you can see it check this out it's much better, nothing here it's actually about the same as on the other side yeah, it's, <laughs> it's actually a bit better, almost the same. Yeah, so it's, it's, I would say it's a little bit better than on this side. Yeah, and you send, start using cardboard. Now, I, I know I do realize that this is a, you know, a hack job or whatever you want to call it. You know, what do you fix in this case? You, you know, I'm going to call the dealer, you know, uh, your regular stores, your auto parts stores are not going to have these kind of parts. Uh, cheap for cheaper than the dealer so you know dealer is going to sell you the whole part or the, the whole assembly for who knows uh, for how much money you know I'm sure it's expensive uh, and considering this is a high mileage car hopefully it will outlast the car so hate all you want I don't care if this was your car you'd be doing the same thing instead of spending hundreds at the dealer all right let's continue let me show you how to put it back all together and it's not going to be easy. Okay, hopefully you can see what I see. So now since the handle is back and uh, that screw is back in here. So the handle is done. Now this needs to go back. And <laughs> these, there's four of these right here on these, um, the window rails. And that's the most difficult part. You got to line up the window because it's 
as you can see I can I'm gonna move the glass and the rails move with it so you need to line that up all four and drive screws in it so let's remove this the switch assembly we'll need it any longer for now I have an idea I'm gonna use this tape keep the window closed All right, hopefully this will hold. Because they're nowhere near where they're supposed to go. Let's pop these open. See, and now I have access to the rails, but they're not moving, so... What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna pull the glass all the way up. Make sure it stays all the way up. Now, if the if the glass is attached to the door, and I'm gonna go up and down, technically the rail should go up and down, right? Well, in my in my head, let's see what happens. Do. There we go, got one. Actually, I can see these two, so I'm gonna secure this, this cover just so it doesn't move on me with four bolts for now. This uh, access hole, it's too far. They should have made it here somewhere, next to the rail, not Okay, I got the bottom one. This is the problem right now. It's just not lining up. It's just not easy. Okay, I know what to do now. I'll lower the window more. We're in. Okay. Back to the cover. Okay, these are still loose. I'm just gonna see if I need to do make make any adjustments. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. Uh, to, the, to the left and up a little bit, kind of meet the movement in the middle, but push it to the left. I believe we're good. Okay, now these, this cable, this uh, harness just pops in here. 
That's it. I'm gonna take this one out. These, whenever these white clips stay on the door, you gotta take them out and put them back on the panel. So I actually had three that came out on me. So yeah, just slide them back in. Now these go to the handle on the inside. This goes to the top. Okay. Pull the switch harness through the hole. Gotta get rid of the line. Starting from the top, kind of hang the top on top. Make sure the clips line up. Just take a peek on the inside and that's it. Before I put it all back together, I'm just gonna test it. Pop the window open first. Unlock the door. Nice. Check the inside. See if it locks. Unlock. So this just uh, pops in the front of it. Drive it in, push the back in. There's a 10 mil right here and two more 10 mils inside the handle. All right, so that is it. Subscribe, like, comment, check out my Subaru STI EJ25 build videos. I'm gonna be tracking that thing is come springtime, summertime, hopefully. Alright, see you soon.